to my channel. I have two very exciting pink parcels right here. They came straight from Rehoras and they just have a gorgeous collection of occasion wear right now, which is absolutely perfect because I need your help in finding the perfect graduation dress for me. I did order a lot of white dresses as well, but they have them in all of the colors. They have beautiful blush pinks and pistachio colors. So if you're searching for any occasion dresses, then this video is absolutely going to be perfect for you. And then I've also ordered some summer bits because they just have a gorgeous selection of clothing that just scream Italy to me. And I do have a trip to Tuscany and Amalfikos coming up. So I'm happy out with planning for that, which means that is what we're gonna do today. So let's just jump right in. If you're new to my channel today, my name is Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week on my channel. So if you don't wanna miss any of my upcoming uploads, then make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And if you wanna see how I style all of the outfits, then also make sure that you follow me on Instagram because that is where I post almost every single day. So let's just head into it. I can't wait to try out these beautiful outfits. Um, definitely leave all of your like thoughts and comments down below because I really need your opinions. And I should also mention that this is a collaboration with Rehoras, which means that I will be having a discount code, hopefully. If so, I'm going to blend that up on the screen right now so that you can shop and save yourself a percentage in case you do wanna shop anything that I show today. All right, so let's head in. Okay, so I'm starting off with this dress. As you can see, it's a gorgeous long satin white dress. And this was kind of my vision. So you need to understand, for my graduation party, I thought it would be nice to wear something white. First of all, because you don't get many occasions where you can actually wear white because most of the nice occasions you're gonna have are weddings and let's face it, you can't really wear anything white there. Um, so I thought it would be nice. Also, it's kind of my signature color and I wanted something that represents me on this day. So I thought, you know, that would be a nice chance and then going for this like sleek satin look to make it not look like a prom dress but also like occasion wear and kind of have just like a very sleek in between. Now that is one of the dresses that I wanted to try out. Now that I got it here, I gotta say it did look better on the model than it does on me. So I'm going to blend in a picture. I thought it looked gorgeous. Um, I feel like it's just maybe a bit wide around here. Maybe if it was more tailored right here. I think that would look nicer. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's giving a bit too much of a bridal vibe. I don't know, I love the swish of it, I love it. Um, it's beautiful, but maybe this is more for like, yeah, just a date night or something. Um, or maybe if you know, you are a bride and you look so for something that is a bit more sleek and sophisticated um, and not go for the princess gown, then yeah, maybe this could even be for you. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to pass for my graduation party, but nevertheless, I love this dress. I do think it is gorgeous. Um, it just might need a bit of tailoring around the waist. Okay, next up we have this cool, kind of short number. Um, as you can see, this time I went for an off-white, which is more like a creamy color. And I love the color, first of all, because I'm not gonna look like a tablecloth. <laughs> but second of all, I just think it looks great against the complexion. I love that it is short, because that is something quite signature for me as well. Um, and it has this like asymmetric shoulder, which usually I never really wear. I don't know why, I do like the look of it. I just never do, but I kind of like, this one because this doesn't have like a one side sleeve or anything so it doesn't annoy me it, it does look nice um, and you get this like additional strap which you could you know tie around your neck tie around your waist or what I found to be the most flattering version would be just tie it around here and make kind of a little bow with it and then you have got this one-sided bow and like this i absolutely adore the dress i think it's gorgeous it makes a great figure i love it again this could be a bridal party dress for the night or the after party um but yeah i absolutely love this i love the fabric it is so sleek and smooth um for my graduation party i don't think it's gonna pass anyways because i think this is definitely giving more of like date night on holiday vibes for me personally I just think it might be a tad too short and a tad too, you know, figure hugging to be 
sitting down with my parents for food and you know getting my diploma so that's probably not going to be my choice for that particular night but i'm definitely going to keep this one because this is a dream i love this one okay next up i have this dress again this is a short version um but it's definitely longer it goes to my knees which honestly i would kind of prefer if it was like this on me but I'm not gonna complain about that. Again, we have the off-white color. I do really like this one. And weirdly, when I just put this on, my boyfriend voted this one. He loves this one. And a lot of my friends that I asked so far really like this one as well. But I think it kind of looks a bit like a nightgown. I'm not 100% convinced yet. Um, it does have this like gorgeous halter neck neckline, just really nice, I think. Um, and it definitely also has this cute bow at the back, so that makes it look just super cute. I do really like this dress. They also had this one in like a blush pink, which looked adorable. Um, I might add, it looked like the dress that Blair Wolof wore, I think, in season two or one, one or two, um, to Lily and Bart's wedding. I think that was it. Um, it absolutely reminded me of that one, so go and get yourself this one if you have like any nice occasion, any weddings to go to, or if you're a bridesmaid, that would be a perfect dress um, in a different color, of course. But yeah, I do really like this. I just think this is beautiful. Again, this would be great for like summer nights in Greece, summer, night, summer nights in Greece, summer nights in Italy, date nights. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think of it as a graduation. Dress. Okay, next up I have this dress and this is a really strong contender for me. I love, love, love the fabric. I just love the silky satin. It just looks stunning. I love that it's a bit longer because it makes it a bit more formal. Um, and there's just something about the bows on the top obviously that I love. Um, even if I'm just sitting down at the table, I gotta see the cute bows which I just think is kind of amazing. And it just looks really cute. Um, again, I don't know if it's a bit too bridal or maybe like a summery date night kind of look. I do really like this one. Um, and yeah, to me it's like, it's kind of what I envisioned. Although it's not really it, because if this was short, I would be 100% sold on it um, as well for the graduation. But like this, I don't know if it's too bridal. So yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on this one. However, since I'm at my bachelor's degree, when we were in lockdown, my uni actually sent out graduation hats back then, which means I've got something at home to, you know, try it on with. Um, and I'm going to warn you, it looks ridiculous, but I thought for the sake of the video, let's just try this on and see what it looks like. I don't know, what do we think? Do we like it? I think it looks ridiculous. Like, it doesn't even matter which dress I choose because I'm gonna look ridiculous with this thing on my forehead. Um, maybe if I fold it in a bit, I have to rearrange this. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Is it a vibe or is it not a vibe? Okay, next up we have this dress, and for me, this is 100% the perfect bridesmaids wedding guest dress. I just love this dress, there is so much I love about it. I honestly can't even tell you. So first of all, the color is amazing. It's the perfect shade of blush pink. I adore this. Um, I love these like little straps here because honestly, never go strapless to a wedding. Never go strapless to these like kind of occasions. And simply let me tell you because most of the photos are gonna be until here. Like there are going to be some full body shots, but mostly the group photos, the things people will have on their Facebook headers are gonna be till here. And if you're strapless and you're having like a nude color, or it doesn't matter, sometimes if the strapless sits a bit lower, you're gonna look topless. That's just my opinion. So I love that it has these cute little straps. I love this kind of um, folded over detail at the top. I just think it really adds to it. And then it is really figure hugging. It looks very flattering and it has this like floating down skirt, which I really like. I love, love the back of this. It just looks gorgeous. Again, I'm not 100% sure how long I can, you know, go to the buffet in this dress because it is quite a figure hanging so you really have to watch out a bit maybe but I do really love it and this is a strong contender as well. I think it's the most appropriate for the occasion but we're having like a red curtain and I really don't want to clash with it. 
Anyways, I just thought popping on the pad, you know, just for the sake of it. And this really makes me feel a bit like Elwood. It does make me feel a bit like Elwood's but a very subtle way because it's a very like sophisticated blush pink it's not the bright fuchsia pink um so yeah definitely let me know what you think of this one okay next up we've got this dress which really reminds me of what would happen this is the reason why i ordered it so as you can see it's like a black chiffony dress it has a slit on the leg and it goes i would say around mid half length so I don't know if that's a midi dress or if it's slightly longer, but yeah, I do think it just looks really flattering. I love the way it looks when you walk because of the slit, it just is so flattering. And then we have the blush pink um, bows around the sleeves. I just love this. It's pretty much the exact same as the white version, only that the white one was in a set material and this is more like chiffony. I don't know what to say about this one. I do really like it. It reminds me of what happened. Do I want to wear black on the day? I don't know. I really don't. Um, I don't want to blend into the back, you know, and I feel like a black dress is probably going to do that for me. But then again, you can have the moment of like being the one who has the simplest outfit, but like the best. <laughs> so there's something about it I do really like. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I just think it's gorgeous. So if you do want, you know, a nice dress to go out at night and like a little speakeasy or elevated club or something like this, then this could be a perfect choice. Also, you know, if you're going out uh, clubbing when you're on holiday or something, I would definitely wear this. I would also wear this to a dinner date in Italy. Um, totally loving this one. Okay, next up we have this dress, and no, this is not something I ordered for my graduation. This is just an LBD, and when I saw this dress, I just thought, you know, everyone needs to have one little black dress in their wardrobe. I don't have one, and this is perfect. Like, this is everything I want in a little black dress, and I absolutely adore it, and I just really, really wanted it. <laughs> um, so, as you can hopefully see, it has the most gorgeous um, square neckline with the scallop edging around it. I just think it looks so flattering. I love this little detail. Just makes it look really high quality and you know it gives it a nice feminine but very subtle detail and then it's really just a little black dress. There's nothing that like to it. It's a nice like waistline. It comes in. It's not too tight. You know it is really skin, skin like figure hugging but it's not too much like you can definitely still eat and breathe and sit in it and do everything and yeah, it's just one of those staples that you really want to have in your wardrobe and for me this is my perfect little black dress and I'm happy I've got one in my wardrobe now because everybody needs it and yeah, I just I really like it. I feel really chic in it. Um, so yeah, just really loving it. Okay, so this dress is not from Rehoras. This is in fact my pretty affluent birthday dress from 2022 and I do have to include this just for you know the completion of the video because I thought this might actually be a contender as my graduation dress as well there's something I really like about it first of all it's really me um, I love that it's white but then it also has the like um, pink floral detail which kind of gives away from you know the bridal vibes it still is like quite dressed up but it is not like a business look um, and there's just something I really like about it. I obviously I just love this dress. Um, yeah, the only thing I've been thinking is maybe it's too short to wear, you know, when you walk up a high stage. Um, so yeah, and it's also quite warm, so maybe it's a bit too warm to wear to my graduation. But let me know what you think of this. If style wise you think um, this would, you know, be the best mix of everything because you know it, it got the white, but it got a bit of the pinks. Um, it's short but it's obviously not too short it's not too figure hiding or anything so yeah let me know what you think if this is a contender for the graduation dress or if i just stick to the ones that i have over there i've got one more dress that i've ordered that hasn't arrived yet um but yeah definitely need your help with this one okay taking a quick break from the dress situation and trying on some of the other bits um just for the like everyday summer outfits but this is also going to be one of the ones that i think i'm going to wear 
non-stop so the top and the shorts both are from Rehoraz absolutely adoring them so first of all when I saw the top I gasped I think this could easily be Reese um, or anything Karen Millen it just looks so high quality so premium and luxurious and the fit of this is absolutely gorgeous as you can see it's like a very thinly knitted top um, and this very like nice beigey taupey color um, I really love this I love the buttons on the side I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and then I paired this with these shorts um, these are like a cream pair of satin shorts and I am so happy I found them first of all because I have the beige ones from other stories like the belted ones that I love but they're a bit too short to wear to the office and I feel like this could pass as both and then I do have that like blouse from another stories with the like rose applique detail I'm going to blend in a photo and I tried to wear this with the another story shorts but one thing that annoyed me about these were that they were just attached to like not floaty enough I want them to fit like nice white and loose and this is what they do I just think they look so flattering and so nice they do come up a bit wide on me so they could have been like an inch smaller also um to like really fit tightly and be like really really high waisted um it's not that they're falling down like if i have them like this then they're the right like size it's just because i do really like to pull them up super super high um which would have been a bit nicer if they were a tip it, like just an inch more tailored but I think that is a stitch I could do myself or you know with any other top I just wear them a bit lower but yeah I've just thrown this on with my Teddy black rack which just like kind of really adds to it it's really giving me these like Monaco like old money aesthetic vibes you know with my big straw hat should I put it on I'm going to save it for later um, and then just nice sling bags I just love this look for me this is the perfect perfect look and it's also going to be nice for like city exploring in Tuscany maybe I do really like it um, and yeah I'm really obsessed with it okay next up I'm having this outfit which is perfect for Tuscany it screams Roman holiday and honestly I can't even wait to pack this and wear it is when we're away absolutely obsessed with it so the dress obviously is from Rehoras. Um, as you can see it has this like very like shirt kind of style color and neckline um, and then it's just floating down with this toy toy shell buttons it comes in around the waist but it's not definitely not too tight and then it has the perfect like midi length um, and it just is really flattering it really reminds me of a Zara dress that I desperately wanted a few years ago that just wasn't available and this one just completely fills the blank in my wardrobe that I had for a dress like this I'm definitely going to pack this I've styled this up in a very like Roman holiday inspired outfit so the necktie right here I got in a little shop in Ken um, I'm going to try and find something similar I think there was something that in other stories um, or sometimes H&M is good for neckties this one's just really giving me all of the Dolce Vita vibes um, then I went with my straw bag from Perfect and Favor. This has proven to be one of my most used summer bags and I absolutely adore this one. It just is gorgeous. I love the quality. I love the size and shape and everything. I just use this so, so much. And then I went ahead and paired it with a pair of classic Aspadrol wedges. Um, now the bow actually came off because I'm obviously not a pro in doing that but I just think the look of them is absolutely stunning together it is just so classic, timeless, chic and elegant and you're always going to love this outfit in summer I just think it's perfect, you can go from sightseeing to date night within a second this is just the perfect look for day to night and yeah, I just absolutely, absolutely adore this okay, this next look potentially is one of the cutest ones in this video. I absolutely adore this one. So the top and skirt both are again from the Horace. First of all, we've got this amazing top and it's like a creamy color. It's kind of like this, I don't know if you can see the material, but it's like a bit shiny. It's not a satiny, it's something in between. I really like it. It's kind of chiffony. And then we do also have these cute bow straps to tie. I just think it looks so gorgeous. And it also has smocking at the back. So it is just really flattering. Uh, I think it should fit pretty much everybody. It's kind of an off-white color, really nice creamy undertone. And then we've got this gorgeous 
midi skirt and I don't wear midi skirts often in fact you're gonna see a lot of midi skirts in the video but this one is just incredible do you see the box pleats on this it is absolutely incredible it reminded me of the Celine dress that I got from Ophralibuff I should probably say um, anyway the dress that I wore to the Dior cafe I've got so many compliments on this one and it just really makes me feel like a princess and this just does the same thing only in lettery shades I just absolutely adore this this is gorgeous obviously I had to pop my DNG with it to go for the lettery theme I love how the bows match with you know the lettery theme and the skirt and then you know pairing this with the slight hint of pink with the handbag to me is an absolute perfect outfit and then again having on my white strappy sandals i thought they would be really nice to pick up the white or the cream from the top i just think it looks absolutely gorgeous i am obsessed with this outfit this could be everything from south of france to italy to you know everything I, I adore this outfit this is absolutely perfect i wish i had this one we were in can this would have been perfect to go to lottery but yeah i just i love this outfit this is insane i actually am really really like happy just about this outfit i do not want to take it off i feel like this outfit is me somehow i told you i would wait till i bring out the hat and guys this outfit chef's kiss tuscany i adore this head to toe everything about it obviously the centerpiece of the outfit is the skirt which is Rihara's and this one's a linen skirt it is absolutely gorgeous it's just like very like wide fitted one as you can see it's like quite uh, tailored around the waist and then it just flows into the most gorgeous full skirt it's beige and white stripe and it's just absolutely wood I love the swish and swirl of it I love that it's so simple and it's really just going down, no pleats, no nothing. It's just this really simple but laid back but dressy at the same time. It just looks like this effortless chic, like casually, like accidentally stumbling out and looking extra chic. I paired this with this white linen top. This one's from Naked. I have that in my closet. Um, please excuse the wrinkles. But yeah, this has the bow at the back. I think that's a nice feminine touch to it. And otherwise, it's really simple, really easy, and kind of laid back. This would probably even look great if you just had like a white linen shirt to tuck in with it, or to, you know, even tie. I think that would look really nice as well. I've just added my wedges, which are Fairfax and Favor. I think the brown in it just looks really nice. It elevates the look, makes it a bit more dressy, and then obviously the head to shield ourselves from the sun. Um, I bought this in the market in Central Pay. Um, absolutely loving this one. Um, perfect shape, perfect like Monaco, Monte Carlo. It is just the most classic and gorgeous hat. I absolutely love it. And then back wise, I thought I would just add this cute little one from Teddy Blake. This is one of my go-to handbags in summer just because I love white and tan in combination. White and beige and then tan, I just, Mm, this is just something I keep coming back to and I'm sure this is the kind of outfit that I will wear now until eternity Okay, next up I have this outfit again. This is perfect for Tiscany, also for Amorphi. I love this one. The skirt is Just incredible. It's the most gorgeous like fruit print Which I don't know why but in summer I get really obsessed with fruit prints. Um, don't ask me. I've kept on the same linen top. I just think it's a very chic and easy combination. Then I went for the little Teddy Blake bag again and to go for the very like Dolce Vita, Dolce Far Niente, um, I went for these shoes that I actually bought in Italy I think last year. I bought them at Lake Como and they're just these like brown little slided kind of in between of I don't I don't really know what they are they're kind of like open back um, loafers but yeah I just think they look great together they look nice with the bag um, I do love this outfit in total it's just really simple it's really Italian for me and yeah I can't wait to wear this while we're on holiday okay and then we've got this outfit which just screams me I love this outfit this is something that I know I'll get so much wear out of 
forever. Like I could wear this every single day. I could wear this to the office. I could wear this to go out shopping for brunch day, for meetings, running errands, everything. This is this is me. Um, it's this perfect like little striped shirt. It's very thinly knitted. I love the color. I love how soft it is. It is just perfect, and it's really giving me like this Parisian look and aesthetic and i just really i really like these kind of things i've been really getting into stripes i'm sorry um my bermuda shorts or city shorts or i don't know what to call them um but i've been wearing them a lot they are from zara they were a really good purchase i'm going to try and leave them link down below and then again just wearing my sling bags so cute love them and my dng it's just like my old time every day i'm back and yeah i just adore this look so guys, these were the pieces that I picked out from Rehoras. Let me know which ones you like the best and uh, which one you think I should wear to my graduation. I really have no idea. And then I'll just say thank you so much for your help because I know you're going to be constructive down there. And then I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.